the Santa Rosa Palomino Club. Ambassadors on horseback. <laughs> by an artist named Adrian Martinez. Okay. It depicts the history of this area. I am at the Red River Valley Museum along with Cooper Alexander. She is going to be a host this morning and she's going to give us a short little guided tour of the facility. Welcome to the Red River Valley Museum in Vernon, Texas, where history meets your imagination. All right. All right. Well, uh, where are we going to start off today? We'll be starting in the Berry Gallery. Okay. It tells you the history of Will Barker County from the day of the dinosaur all the way until present day. Ah, uh, now in the description below, I always like to put links to uh, other resources mm -hmm. so that if people want to find out how Will Barker County got its name, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of history behind the county, that type of thing. I usually put links to the Texas Handbook online. Yes. <laughs> I love that resource. And there are uh, links in each one of the articles mm -hmm. that you could stay on there for a week at a time <laughs> following one link after another. If you're really interested in the history of Texas. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I interrupted you. No, so. it's all right. <laughs> We're in the ba Berry Gallery. Yes. And I'll tell you a little bit about the origin of our museum, just to give you a little sneak peek of what we have to offer. Okay, because you do have tours. Yes, here. guided tours. Okay. So this couple right back here are the originators of our museum, J. Henry and Ethel Ray. Ethel, back in the 1930s, was part of the Delphian Society here in Vernon, which promoted women's education. And she was tasked with writing an essay over the principal Indians of the Southwest. Mm -hmm. And to do her research, she grabbed her husband and they just started digging. Wow. And they found thousands and thousands of artifacts that are in wow. this room right here, right here in Wilbarger and the surrounding counties. A lot of paleo area yes. artifacts. It looks like uh, all various types of uh, spear points, arrow points, different types of flint. Up in the Amarillo area, we have uh, the Alabates National yes. Monument, where I understand some of the uh, best quality flint uh, available in the world comes from. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead. All right. What else have we got? Um, some of our most impressive fossils are right here at the very beginning. Okay. We have a megalodon tooth, which was found right here in the Pease River, just a little bit north of here. Wow. Huge. Put your hand up there so we can see how big that is. Okay. Then we have two fossils in limestone. This guy right here, he is older than dinosaurs, the Captor Highness, an ancient lizard. And if you come down really close, you might be able to see his tiny, tiny fossilized teeth down there. Ah, okay. And you see how small those are. If you turn around and compare them to these right over here, just the back two teeth from a mammoth. Nice. <laughs> Yikes, and this is mastodon? Is that... Mammoth. Back oh, mammoth. Back. Okay. Yep, we do have some mastodon bones as well. Okay. All... Incredible. And as you keep coming through this gallery, we have some stories on Quanah Parker, famed Texan. All right. We'll continue on. We have Rick the Drover, which will tell you all about the cattle drives that came right through here in Vernon. Okay. And connected to that. Okay, and <laughs> is that part of the Chisholm Trail? Or? Chisholm and Great Western. Okay. Yes. All right. And then right over here, we have an exhibit over Doan's Crossing, one of our other claims to fame. Hey, it was so. the first white settlement here in Wilbarker County. They set up a little shop right on the banks of the Red River to catch all the cattle drives that came right through here. Okay. And really started the county out to make it what it is today. Doan's was the first town we had here in Wilbarger. Uh, Vernon slowly started popping up by the Pease River. Okay. Uh, and then the railroad came through in Vernon instead of Doan's, and Vernon just continued to grow and grow. Then through here, we have an exhibit on the Doan's May Picnic, which is connected to that Doan's Crossing family. Okay. After they survived one year of the harsh Texas summers and winters and Native American attacks, they had a picnic to celebrate. Oh, okay. And it is now the longest running pioneer tradition in Texas. Oh, wow. Now I'm at a, uh, an annual celebration with the uh, Santa Rosa Rodeo Roundup this weekend. Mm -hmm. That's what brings me here. And what a great photograph of the Santa Rosa Palomino Club. Ambassadors on horseback. We'll be looking at some of their facilities over at the rodeo grounds in another film, actually. All right, 
And then this section here is what makes Vernon what it is today. Uh, the economy, commerce, and everything else. Okay. What is the primary driving forces for uh, uh, people having jobs in this area now? Agriculture and ranching are still the backbone of our society here. Okay. Um, we do have the North Texas State Hospital, which is the one of the very few maximum security state hospitals in Texas, and it employs a good deal of people. People come here just to work there. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. And there's two more sessions. Yes. Would you like to explain uh, uh, where we're going to next? Absolutely. Next is the Bond Gallery. Uh, this gallery is over 130 taxidermy game mounts hunted by one man, Mr. Wow. Bill Bond. He was a Vernon local rancher and banker who served in World War II. And when he came back from serving, he continued his hobby of hunting and went on at least one big game hunt a year for about... 30 to 50 years of his life I see. and he donated his collection to us at the museum so kids who can't travel the globe can still see these animals okay. right here. Wow and right away I'm seeing something totally awesome. <laughs> Look at that huge grizzly bear. Oh my. Now this room speaks a little more for itself than our other galleries do. Right. It's newly remodeled as of this March. Okay. Now the official tour that you give, yes. uh, you go into quite a bit of uh, in-depth information, yes. that type of thing. People can look as long as they'd like. Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of giving you folks out there in YouTube world sort of a highlight of what's here. And if you are interested, we'll be sure you come back and spend a lot more time Wow, animals I have never even seen in encyclopedias before, <laughs> I don't think. And I hope the lion doesn't scare the kids. <laughs> he scares me still when I walk past. <laughs> hey, I think I see a water buffalo. Yes, one of the most dangerous All animals. Right. Now, one thing that really irritates me mm -hmm. is how that people in North America refer to bison <laughs> as buffalo. Yep. Okay, people. Here is a buffalo, a water buffalo specifically. And then right over here, we have an American bison. There are no water buffalo that are natural to North America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Polar bear, mm -hmm. that is incredible. And that's what, maybe 12 feet standing I'm, up there? I'm not quite six feet. He's pretty incredible. large. Incredible. The wolf right here was actually Mr. Bill Bond's favorite of the animals. Wow. Do you have any guesses on why? Uh, well, it's not of the coloring <laughs> that I am used to. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is, I mean, it's like the Mexican gray wolf. I'm familiar with that. I'm familiar with the timber wolf up in the northern United States, in the Rockies, that type of deal. But I have not seen one of these brown wolves. No, yeah. Um, the reason he gave was that wolves have a matriarchal society, unlike something like the lion and yeah. most other species. Yeah. The males of the species will help take care of the pups, and the women get to do all the same things the men would do. And he really respected that in them. Well, all right. <laughs> This section here is all about uh, what's native or indigenous okay. and invasive to Texas. Oh, great. Wow, look at these tusks. Here are double tusks. That's incredible. And then this last section here touches on conservation. Wonderful. <laughs> now I've got my camera on an extension here, so you folks that come in, uh, <laughs> you need to be really careful about how you handle your cameras. All right. Ooh, wonderful furniture here. Uh, recording devices, or not recording, but audio playback devices. I have listened to oral history interviews oh. <laughs> on round cylinders like this. They are 
housed in the uh, Southwest Collection, which is a federally funded archival repository mm -hmm. on the campus of Texas Tech University. Hmm. And I was so intrigued as a journalism student that uh, there were so many, uh, hundreds and hundreds, if not several thousand oral history mm -hmm. interviews on things like these uh, cylinders and also on uh, wire uh, recording devices. I was working with cassette tapes, mm -hmm. basically. That kind of stirred my interest in recording oral history interviews and stories of people uh, who are still with us yep. and don't want to lose their stories altogether. All right, well, this is our last gallery the Wagner Gallery, all about the famed Wagner Ranch, the largest ranch under one fence in the whole U.S. Wow. You can hear a I'm little I'm sure it started stories. out in the beginning where there were no fences at all. Yes, Just exactly. Just like the A Ranch yeah. did. It started out with this man right here, Dan Wagner. He had a ranch down in Decatur, and he came up here looking for more land to expand. And he right. found it. Just kept growing and growing, and now it's about the size of New York City. Right, right. Uh, was that approximately the same time as the J.A. Ranch being established? It was. Or a little bit later, I, I think would think. a little bit later. Thanks. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure about that as well. But once again, I will put some links in yes. the description down below. And you folks who want to follow up on that can certainly do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this little map here. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually shows yep. what counties. We're right up here right now. Okay. This is all the ranch. Okay, so we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six different counties that uh, this ranch actually has some territory in. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty large, I think. The J.A. Ranch has five or six counties mm -hmm. that it covered as well. Yeah. Um, and here's a place that I really want to come back yes. and uh, pay more attention to. <laughs> yes. Uh, very interesting history there. Well, speaking of Electra, um, that is named after one of the women in the Wagner family, but there are multiple Electras. And we're going to talk a little bit about Electra too. Okay. Electra Wagner Biggs. All right. She grew up here in Vernon in the Fort Worth area. Um, and she was about 20 years old when she realized she had a talent. She was in New York City and went to an art class and learned she could sculpt. Wow. And she had a studio right here on the ranch near Vernon, Texas. She became a pretty renowned artist. Wow, they're beautiful. She did. Some bust, of these are really uh, kind of dark and hard to make out, I mm -hmm. think. That one might be interesting to you as a, a Czech alumni. Oh, yeah? You recognize that? Oh, well. What about the picture right there in the middle? Oh, <laughs> right up here. The life size version of Will, Ro Will Rogers on Soap Suds. Oh, on the tech campus. so she did uh, that. Yes, that's hers. That's on the Texas Tech campus. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, I did not know that. Yes. <laughs> Originally, his head was facing east, uh, but the powers that be turned it around. Yeah. So the rear end was facing A&M. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's a lot of bad blood. Oh, yes. On Texas Tech and A&M. And like I said, she did a lot of bust of famous figures and presidents. And there's one story to go along with her meeting oh, President wow. Truman. Cool. Get the glare off of that. Wonderful. So security was a little more lax back then. So she and her husband just drove up the White House gates. Secret Service did stop them and ask, you know, what do you have in that box right there? She responded with, just the president's head. And they didn't think that was very funny <laughs> at all. So they got questioned for a little while until they opened the box and said, oh, well, yes. you're not lying. Wonderful. And let her go through. All right. The detail is mm -hmm. something else again. All right. And I know that you've got stories about many oh, of yes. these things. Uh, but I didn't want to take up too much time. And... Uh, of course, people are free to ask questions mm -hmm. when they come in and spend more time than we are today. Sure. Absolutely. One big final stopping point is this okay. mural by an artist named Adrian Martinez. Okay. It depicts the history of this area and the ranch all the way back when the buffalo roamed here to now when they herd cattle with helicopters. Oh, yes. <laughs> We've got some helicopter ranching up in our part of the Texas Panhandle. Sure do. 
everyone in this painting is based off a, a real figure. So if you come here, we can tell you, you know, who's who. Oh, excellent. And I have certainly participated in a bunch of these activities. <laughs> Texas to Montana. All right. Buggy transportation, various kinds of saddles, cowboy clothing, quills, lots and lots of history. And here's even a uh, oxen yoke, I believe. All right. Well, Cooper, um, I guess this is about the extent yeah. of uh, what we want to show everybody today. What are some things, uh, some stories that people are likely to hear when they take the official tour? Oh, goodness. Um, we'll go into a little more depth on everything that we covered in the berry. We'll get a little more information on the animals in the Bond Gallery. And when it comes to the Wagner family, there's a lot of stories that people don't know if it's true or not. So we'll tell you those, but take them with a, uh, you know, Green of sand. Don't don't take it to heart. All right. They're all legends there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. All right. Well, thank you very much, right. and I have enjoyed coming to visit here today. My first time here, and you've done an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. Oh, you're welcome. Hope to see you. <laughs>